Good morning, my YouTubers. Stayed in at the uh, Devonian Hotel and Suites here in Fox Creek, which is up by the uh, Tar Sands, I believe. And uh, yeah, a lot of uh, big ass trucks, a lot of working trucks. It's uh, for a small ass little town. They have a ton of hotels, and it's all for these uh, these guys working on the oil sands and whatnot. Oh, here comes truck right now. Yeah, working on the oil sands and welding and all that fun stuff. But uh, as you can see, it's starting to rain. Well, starting to. It has been raining, but uh, we gotta go. Six hours to Pink Mountain, British Columbia tonight. And I'm actually doing some camping, which I gotta see if I can get to my, uh, <clears throat> get to my tent in the back, which I, I don't know. We gotta give her a shot. But, uh, I don't know, I was told that moose like the rain. So possibility of seeing a moose increase, maybe? I don't know, but uh, going up through Dawson City, which I heard is actually a decent little touristy town. So we'll go up there, see that. GPS <clears throat> signal lost. And that is the start of the Alaska Highway. So once I get there, it'll be smooth sailing. Although it has been smooth sailing since I started, but. Got a plane up there doing a bit of crap dusting. And there he goes. Let's see if I can get him over here, huh? Yeah, he's spraying. Ah, I can't really get a good good shot of him over there. But <clears throat> there he is. Back there doing some crop dusting. Well, as you can see, it has uh, stopped raining. It's cleared up. So we, uh, yeah, just gonna keep uh, keep on trucking. I saw this this sign on the road about a mile back. It said Trapper Gourd Homesteading and Survival Store, greatest outdoor store in the world. Now, how can you not stop at a place like that? There are the flags. So this little trapping store, if you're coming through Alberta. Uh, all right, I cut myself off. I closed my GoPro, but if you're coming through Alberta on 43 North, Trapper Gourd, if you're into trapping, or hunting they had a pretty good fishing selection of spoons uh, definitely definitely give it a stop give it a look through they don't accept American money so GPS signal lost thank you Google uh, they don't accept American but <clears throat> took credit cards that was fine but yeah they uh and said the greatest outdoor store in the world there pretty uh pretty close pretty good a bunch of camping stuff i had uh, a bunch of skins from trappers for sale and some clothes and whatnot so like i said if you got got some time and you're coming through 43 through alberta stop and give her a look in the distance you can see these areas the size that of that beaver being lawnmower is going to just crisscross and when we had given those numbers at the beginning of this. There's a mule deer. First mule deer of the trip. <clears throat> All right, we're uh, only about 30 miles or actually it's 35 kilometers. So I don't know how many miles, 23, 24 miles till uh, Dawson City. Dawson Creek, Dawson City, Dawson Creek, British Columbia. 
So not too much longer in Alberta. Okay, we're coming into the next province. Welcome to British Columbia, Canada. All right. So hopefully, well, I know for sure at some point today I'll be up in the Rockies. see about this here uh, not, not need there anywho in British Columbia well I made it to Dawson Creek British Columbia actually a decent sized little town I don't know 15,000 or so 10,000 got a little uh, they got a mall and Yeah, going to uh, pass through here. I think the start of the Alaska Highway, mile marker zero, I think is here. So we'll stop and see that and uh, keep trucking. Coming up to mile marker one. Hi, oh, Jesus. Car in front of me is going, I'm going. Car to the right's going. Mall marker one. Alaska Highway, right there. Ta da! Alright. We're moving on. World famous Alaska Highway. We're on it. Woo! And there is the Peace River, British Columbia. Pretty neat little uh, little area. Just came off a 12% grade. So getting up into the Rockies now. Off the plains. I don't know if there was a uh, disease, tree disease outbreak, or if this was the remains of a forest fire. But man, there are just dead trees for, I mean, acres and acres going up over these ridges everywhere. There's just dead trees. I'm gonna assume it might have been a fire because there's a lot of under underbrush that is growing up from obviously under these trees. So, anyways, coming up on Pink Mountain, British Columbia. I got my RV campsite. I forgot that uh, once you come into British Columbia, you move another hour backwards. So. I'm way early to sign in, but we'll go. We'll go see. Um, go from there. Okay. That's a moose. That's a moose right there. There was a moose and a, a calf. I saw a moose. I saw a moose. There's a moose over there. I'm gonna officially say that I'm in the Rockies. <clears throat> Getting into the up and downs of valleys and stuff, and the, the road goes up over that ridge over there. So I'm gonna say I'm in the Rockies now. Rocky from here on out. We're going down another <clears throat> 10 to 12 percent grade. I'm behind a guy pulling a big ass boat. So we're only going about 15 miles an hour. But man, look at that. Look at that. A river down there so I stopped at the place that I have my uh, reservation and the guy said he owns another campground down by the river and it's not filled up and if I want I could come down here and get a spot so I bought myself a six-pack of Corona because they don't really have much of a selection there 
and uh, man, look at that. Got myself a six pack of beer and coming down to the river and gonna see if they have Wi-Fi down here. And if they do, might try to get myself a British Columbia fishing license because the guy said that they got grayling in the river. And uh, yeah, see if we can catch ourselves a grayling. So I reached my campsite for the night. Beautiful, beautiful place here in British Columbia. But so far, these are the uh, lures that I've come across and purchased. I like this one, a little clownfish looking one. That one I'm not going to use. They're keeping that one. Hopefully we get some salmon on these. Those are the ones I have and the ones I'm making. And this one here, I got that one for getting my boat inspected in uh, Alberta. They gave me that. So. <clears throat> so those are my lures that I've bought so far. But this here is my campsite. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Unfortunately, the road is right there. That's the highway. Whatever. I got myself all tented up there and must have been some rain because that river is pretty muddy. I don't know if that's the way they always look or whatnot. But, uh, yeah. It's only, what time is it? It's, uh, just about four o'clock. So, yeah. That's going to do it for tonight. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I done. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I think the highlight of the day was to see those two moose. Never seen a moose before. So. On. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow I don't think is a super long day. I think tomorrow is a five, five hour drive. And then the day after is four, six, and then three. But it's where you can find the hotels. So. Tomorrow we'll be, no, we'll still be in British Columbia tomorrow. And then the day after we'll be up in uh, Whitehorse, Yukon Territory. I'm looking forward to that. Do some fishing up there on the Yukon River. So, all right. That's going to do it for me for today. Like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. And uh, see you tomorrow. What a scene. What a scene to have a fire on. Look at that. Right by the river. That's the only part that sucks about this, is that uh, the tent camp camping areas are right next to the highway. Oh, I hope that they're not loud all night. Anywho, it's about seven o'clock. Sun's still up. Oh, it's way up there. Let's see, seven, eight, about nine o'clock, 9.15 maybe. It might be down over the ridge. Might get dark by that point. If not, uh, we're going to be, well, eventually it will be, but <clears throat> got all that wood, got burned, five bucks, pretty good, pretty good, pretty dry too, so that helped out, but, so tomorrow, I think I may have already gone over this earlier, but tomorrow we're heading up to Muncho Lake, I got to pass through Fort Nelson, and I need some more pants. I thought I had packed two pair of pants that I'm wearing, one gray and one tan, but I can only find the gray ones. So I gotta get another pair because they're, they're ripe. Let's say that, they're ripe. 
So, all right, till tomorrow.